welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through a tutorial on how to install LSPDFR for 2022. Um, all of this, uh, it's going to be a multi-part series. Uh, part one is going to be the basics. Uh, part two is going to be vehicles and all that. And then part three, the final part, will be add-on stuff and any other stuff that you want to add to your game. So part one, we're going to focus on the basics. In this video, we're going to cover how to install LSPDFR. How to install ELS and script hook. That's literally it. Um, so three things, and then I'll we'll do part two another time and all that. So everything that you need will be in the description below. Go check there. All the links are there. It's gonna take you to the LSPDFR website. Um, so this essentials page. It's gonna take you to the uh, LSPDFR download page, ELS download page, and script hook. These are uh, pause the video right here download all this stuff so we can get started i'm gonna go download these right now because i need to do it still and then i will see you all in just a minute all right so, so now that you've got everything downloaded what you're gonna do you don't need your browser anymore really and um, you might <laughs> no nah, you won't need it so you can close your browser um and what you're gonna do is if you have a area that you want to keep all your stuff make a folder and do that um what we are gonna do is do this real quick so um just go to your downloads folder wherever your downloads folder is really um mine is just in this pc so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all three files that you downloaded i downloaded the lspd for last week um went on day of release because i knew i was gonna forget it what you're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, these three files that you downloaded you're gonna cut them you're gonna paste uh into your folder or you can leave them in your downloads folder it's all personal preference um, but I like to put all this stuff in the one folder. What you're going to do is you're going to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 dire directory. This is a fresh install. I installed this this morning before I left. Uh, to go get my COVID vaccine. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take... F first of all, this is extremely important. It's going to save us time later. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Time64 folder and your Update folder. If you don't know how to select multiple files, you click one, hold the left control... And then click the other one. You can also do other stuff. Right now, these are the only ones we're going to do. We're gonna, you're going to right click. You're going to hit copy. You're going to create a new folder called mods. And you're going to paste them in here. I did, Like I said, I did this earlier. So we don't need to worry about that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our home directory. We're going to open LSPDFR. I do the manual install because the manual install is way easier. Um, I'll just turn my phone off. And you're going to select everything here, um, apart from the, this top one. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR, I recommend installing WinRAR. It's, it helps a lot. What you're going to do is you're going to drag all of these and you're going to um, see how when I highlight over these, some of them turn blue. Make sure nothing is highlighted blue. Don't drag it into folders. Drag it to the bottom where nothing is selected. And it's going to paste that into the folder like this. Um, should take about 10 seconds, depending on how fast your hard drive is. What we'll do is I'm gonna bring this down so you all can see. And now you should have a bunch of files. What? What is that done? You can close, you don't need that. Now we're gonna install script hook. Script hook is required um, for a lot of things such as trainer V, ELS, other ASI things. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to uh, select these two. You can install Native Trainer if you want, but we're going to download a better trainer in the next video. So what you do is you take the two DLL files and you drag and drop in here. Once you're done, you can close that. Now what you're going to do is you're, open, you're, you're going to open your ELS. You're going to go to Installation Files. Grab the total 5. Drag and drop all those files in here. Now that's done, you're going to close this. If you don't have Open4 yet, I recommend you get Open4. You go to your browser and you go to openiv.com. Oh, if I can spell correctly, that might help. My browser's not responding because it loves me. So you go to open4.com like this. I'm going to see. <coughs> Bless me. You're going to hit this green button that says download open 4 now. 
Once you've done that, you're going to run the installation file and all that. Um, another thing we're going to download is uh, Trainer V because Trainer V is very helpful. All these links will be in the description. Um, it's called Simple Trainer for Grand Theft Auto 5. You're going to download the latest version whenever you're watching this. Right As of right now, it's eight days ago. So you're going to hit download this one here. You can also hit this one, but it just takes you to this page. Um, so you're going to download that. Obviously, you can see because my face comes in the way. Um, so once you've downloaded those both, um, you can close your browser. I'm going to leave it open because I might need it. Um, like I said, you're going to move this to this. You can open this. You're gonna, um, you're gonna click the, these two. You don't need the other ones. Um, it's recommended you read the README, but you don't. You don't have to. All you need to do is drag and drop. So once you've installed Open4, you've dragged all these things into your directory. What you can do is you can close this. I'm gonna minimize it because I'm gonna still use it. You're gonna open Open4. When you open it, you should come to this page. Now, uh, as you can see, you can mod different GTAs. Right now, we're going to mod GTA 5 for Windows. So what you do is you click Windows. It's searching for an encryption key. Uh, when you first install it, it's going to ask you for where your game directory is. You just uh, you click Browse, make your way to the directory. If you don't know where the directory is. Um, for other people, it's in C Drive. But for me, it's in D, Games, Steam. Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto V. There's the directory there. So once you do that, you hit OK. It should say GTA5.exe has been found. That's good. Once you've done that, it's going to pop up like this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, go to File. Uh, no, go to Tools and ASI Manager. Um, obviously for me, I... I'm doing this on a thing that I already have. So none of these should be enabled for you. What you're going to do, install all of them. And um, so they're all green. Um, you don't need this one, but it helps if you make Rockstar Editor clips or thumbnails or whatever. Um, you need this to modify your game, basically. And you need this to use script hook and all that. You, know that, you can hit close. And that is really about it. So far, um, when you're in Open 4... You see your mods folder is going to be purple. That's good. Uh, and then Temp64 and update should be different colors. And then you have all your RPFs and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop in game, make sure everything works. And then in the next video, we're going to install um, the other basic stuff, such as EUP and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys when we hop in game. So I just remembered, I want to point out when running Grand Theft Auto V, um, what I do is I open it via Steam. What you do here, um, just let me clear my downloads because this is going to bug me. Uh, so you go to Steam, you find your GTA 5, you hit play like this. Hit play Grand Theft Auto 5. Do not hit GTA Play Online. Uh, do not hit play GTA 5 Online. Um, hit play Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you've done that, you can close your Steam down. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your directory open. Let this do its thing. If you're running it off a fresh install, let this do its thing. Once your game opens, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to hit rageplugginhook.exe. Um, so let your game launch first. And then let it just let it do its thing. And then yeah, this works. I'm going to turn my display capture off. Otherwise, there's going to be significant frame drop. But right now, what you're seeing, uh, right now, this should be open. So you're going to let your game launch. As soon as you hear the glass breaking or whatever, um, run GTA, uh, run Rage Plugin Hook, sorry. Like that. Once you hear that noise, you alt tab. If it wants to let me, I think my game's in full screen. All right, there we go. RacePluginHook.exe. Give it a moment here to tap into OBS as well. Okay. Um, what you're gonna do? Um, 
because it's not hooked on just yet. What? Oh, because there's no thing here. Once you've um, launched rig plugin hook, it's going to ask you to do this. Read through this, make sure everything's good, and then hit accept. Um, once it does that, it's going to do a first time thing. Rage plugin hook can back up your current game version so you can revert it to a new version. Uh, in case of a new update comes out and you still want to play. What I do, I hit yes, just in case. Although I never revert, it's just in case if you ever do decide to do that. While that's happening, I'm going to add a game capture. There we go. So this is creating a backup right now. I'm going to turn this off so you guys don't have to hear it. Um... So this is creating a backup um, of the Times 64 folder and all that. Only takes around a gig of storage. So when that's done, what you're going to do uh, is this window is going to pop up. I like to keep this default to F4. You can change it if you want. Um, but this plug-in timeout threshold, however, is um, how many seconds or how many milliseconds it takes for a plugin to run or to start running and um, if it exceeds this the plugin doesn't launch and it crashes and all that what i like to do is change this 10,000 to 60,000 60 seconds give it a whole minute to let it do its thing and then if it doesn't work it thingies um plugins i like to load um all plugins on startup advanced settings disable custom loading screen um that doesn't make an effect to the game um, and then enable counter mergers against online vehicles being removed in single player. That's always good to keep on. And then that's just your backup lines and all that. I'm going to hit save and launch. Um, and if you always want to open your settings menu again, launch rage and then hold the shift button. So now that this is going to hook onto the game, I'm going to turn display capture off uh, once this does its thing. It should go into either this corner or this corner. Depends. Um, once it's hooking its game instance, it goes into the corner down here. And it will come up on screen that the game is hooked. Once it's hooked on, what you can do is you can hit story mode and it will load story mode with race plug and hook. This is going to take a minute to load for me because my computer is complete garbage. Um, but I will see you all when this launches. Okay, so when you're finally in game, that took way too long. I had to close OBS, and by the time that everything launched, I couldn't open it again. Uh, when you uh, when you get in game, you're gonna have a black screen, and it's gonna make a funny noise. Don't worry, nothing happened. It's just say, uh, it's just Ray telling you, "Hey, we're good." Um, so it should say 16 new commands or something, uh, and you're gonna load into game like this. You're gonna spawn with your save game if you have a previous save game, or if you. Um, if you don't have a save game, then it's going to make you through the prologue mission. Um, which you should totally do, because that's one of the best missions of the game. Um, when you're in game, you should be able to press F3, which opens this nice little trainer over here. Uh, make sure your num lock is on, because if your num lock isn't on, you're not going to be able to move the trainer. Num lock on. Uh, 2 is down, 8 is up, 6 is right. 4 is left and 5 is yes, 0 is back. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to spawn any car. It doesn't really matter what car you spawn. I'm going to spawn this uh, FBI uh, car. You can press backspace to close it. Or you can press F4. Which, oh, don't press F4 because that's not a good idea. Um, Alright, so I'm going to turn my controller on here. And you need to drive to a station. Um, if you've seen people do LSPD for our live streams, you see that they open their console and type Force Duty to quickly get on duty. Um, do, do not do that if this is your first install of LSPD for, um, especially because you need to do some things before you can do that. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to head to a station, preferably any station that has a badge on the map. I'm just going to do this one, for example. Uh, so what you do... 
come over here and you press either right on the D-pad or E um, on keyboard, depends on what you play with. And you're going to load in to the station and it's going to ask you um, to go on duty. You press go on duty. It's going to ask you to create a character because you don't have a character. So we're going to do that right now. Um, so you press OK. With 0 0.4, um, it uses the features of MP free mode characters, your GTA Online characters. Um, so you get full-on customization. Uh, that ties into the next part where we install EUP and all that. So I'm just going to create my character. Male. Uh, have any parents you want, really. Um, I choose these ones because those are the ones I've used forever. You get full on customization. I'm going to just do my normal one, which is Caesar. Um, but I think for this one, I'm going to do a different one. Um, if I can find it. I can't find my hair. What the fuck? I've broken it. All right, so we're going to go with the Caesar because that's the one I do. I choose brown here. I'm going to redo my parents because I could do that before. I can't find her. God damn it. I think it was Hannah. I think it was Hannah. No. Audrey. I know her when I see her. I don't know which one it is, though. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Natalie. So she's done that. Hit save and continue. It's going to ask you to name your character. Name your character whatever you want. Name it like that, hit use. And it's going to spawn you back inside the PD interior uh, where you can sort of customize what your character looks like. Right now, it doesn't matter what a character looks like because we're going to change it anyway. Uh, so you're now on duty. You can go to the locker, give yourself a certain outfit. Um, obviously, with other departments, you can't really... Um, we can. We're gonna we're gonna rock this. We're gonna hit confirm. We're gonna go to the police garage, and you can choose a uniform, or not a uniform, a vehicle. Right now, what we're gonna we're just gonna rock this charger. I actually don't know what this extra is. That's fine. You can modify your vehicle and all that. Right now, we're just gonna take out a default one. And now what you can do is when you come at the station, you can select a pistol um, and a flashlight, depending on the loadout you choose. Now what you can do is you can press M. Um, which gives you a nice little interaction menu. Choose if you're available for calls. Uh, and you can choose like what your vehicle does. You can choose to have your lights on or off, engine on, always on, inventory, you can equip ballistic shields, which is quite cool. So you can walk around like this, if you want to walk around weird, I guess. You can place evidence markers and stuff like that. Uh, you can change... Oh, uh, so if you can make your walk style. I like to have cop, because that's the one that works for me. You can do actions, which is basically put your hand on your holster and all that. 
so that's really the basics. Um, obviously, because we have ELS installed, um, this isn't an ELS car, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Um, but with e ELS installed, that allows you to have... Oh, that allows you to use extras as lights instead of just default lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn this police car. What you can do is you can see how my lights turn on in certain ways. So uh, on controller, if you use controller like me, you can press left on the D-pad to enable stage one. Again, stage two. And then again for full on stage three lights. Press down on the D-pad for siren. Uh, and you can press B to change the tone. And you can, obviously, the normal siren button is the horn. If you're on keyboard, it's J. J all the way. And then it's G for siren. Uh, or you can use one, two, three, and four. Um, if you have a traffic advisor, it's K, which turns on like your stage one. You can press L for um, other extras, like secondary lights. You can press the left bracket for cruise lights. Obviously, this none of this is working right now because it's not an ELS car. Press right bracket for takedowns, depending on the vehicle. You can press alt left bracket for uh, a red light and then alt right bracket for something else. You, you can press the button between shift and Z or Z, um, which is like a backslash, uh, which turns your lights on and off. If so you have this off and you turn your lights on, it goes on automatically. That's just, that's just the basics of LS, uh, not LS, ELS. Um, so yeah, the way ELS works is they have a thing called extras, which are basically lights. Um, and you can take a look at all the extras when it, uh, using your trainer. If you go down to vehicle mod menu and then go to vehicle components. Um, obviously, there's no extras on this vehicle or there's barely any. That's why there's no difference. Um, but we'll cover that next time when we insult ELS vehicles and all that. Why is my microphone stuck in my hand? It's kind of weird. Uh, no microphone. Uh, I'm tired, okay? Um, so that's basically it. That's the basics. Um, yeah, that's really all about it. Uh, next time we're also going to install sirens and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the basics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button down below. So you enjoy it. Feel free to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, if you have any other questions on how to install stuff, leave it in the comments below. I'll make a video on it. Yeah, that's really about it. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.